Now, Angela, uh, Harry was over in Japan for a sports summit ahead of the Invictus Games. He was talking about uh, the power of a sport and healing. And now he's in Singapore, uh, where he's paid, uh, played a polo match for the charity Centre Bale. Look, we know these uh, two things very close to his heart. He seems to be back in his element. Look, he is, you know, sort of 10 years after he set up the Invictus Games, it's still his most high-profile work. And he talks about healing, he talks about sport. Centre Bali, of course, is the African charity that he set up, in, partly in honour of his uh, his late mo mother. He's there. There's been some speculation, you know, not speculation, but conversation about it being a bit of a lad's trip. They certainly are having fun. But more to the point, Harry is looking outward rather than looking inward. And we haven't seen much of that. We've seen all the navel-gazing through spares, his, his sort of therapy sessions, uh, live broadcasts, we, the Netflix series. So to see him actually talking about other people rather than himself positions him back where the Harry that we used to know, particularly in a week when his brother, of course, was uh, uh, voted the most popular sort of person in America. So, you know, to see Harry getting a bit more of that attention and to be a bit more light-hearted, his mate was even talking about the fact that they were both missing their wives, I think um, gives hopes for the Harry we used to know. And Anna, just before we move on to the next topic, I think they're really good observations. Have you got anything you'd like to add to that? I think in terms of Prince Harry, I think I echo exactly um, what was just said right now. I think that it shows that potentially there might be a little bit of reparations coming forward. Um, though I think that the damage might have already been done. I think that they've completely disparaged the royal family, particularly with the Netflix documentary. I think it was so insulting when, for example, Meghan did that fake bow um, that she did towards the Queen, which I just thought was completely embarrassing and disrespectful, disrespectful to what the royal family represents. So I think it would take some time for the public to actually um, reckon, you know, forgive almost Prince Harry for everything that he's done since. Now, Angela, on to the anniversary and the passing of the Queen. Look, we understand Charles won't be making or marking the occasion formally, but William and Kate will apparently lead a tribute. Can you run us through this? Yes, this is really interesting. And I think um, we've got no information really on it at all, except for uh, a nod from the palace to say that they will be leading this tribute. Now, we don't know whether this will be via Instagram, whether it'll be in per person, but I've got a bet on this. I think it will be in person, and I think the tone and tenor of the event will very much represent the Queen. So I think it could be at one of her preferred, you know, sort of uh, really favourite charities. I think it will be in person. I think there will be a speech by... Um, by Prince William. The timing is perfect. Her, the the uh, Wales' children will be back at school. It's the first week back, um, obviously, September 8th. The children will be back at school. I imagine it'll be close to Windsor. And as you said, Caroline, um, the King and Camilla will be uh, at Balmoral, where, of course, the Queen died, and remembering... Uh, the, the King Charles will be remembering his mother privately, just as his mother remembered her own father in the same way. And Anna, it's been reported that Harry and Meghan will also honour the occasion. Is that right? Uh, I, you know what? I would not be surprised. I think that they will take any opportunity to make anything about themselves, which I think is completely misses the point of what the occasion should be about. I think that they will capitalise so much off of that and the media will leech onto it. It will be front page news. And I think it will actually take away from the official occasion that the royals are gathering to honour. So, But I would not be surprised that Harry and Meghan would not find any opportunity, of course, to make something again about themselves.